Yes. Ukraine sends troops to Iraq. An independent contingent, consisting of 1,650 troops from the 5th Mechanized Brigade, was deployed to cut south-central Iraq in late 2003. In May 2005, the brigade was replaced with the 81st Tactical Group, numbering around 900 troops. Yes, the armed forces of Ukraine have supported NATO-led efforts in Afghanistan since 2007. Ukraine is a participant in the NATO-led International Security Assistance Force in Afghanistan and has deployed troops as part of NATO's ISAF mission to the country. I am Colonel Alexander Ostrovsky. I am senior national representative of Ukraine. The Ukrainian military contingent participated in NATO mission in the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan since the beginning of the 2007. At present, the Ukrainian contingent consists of uh, 11 Ukrainian service members. Most of them are combat engineers. Their key function include uh, engineer recognized of road for moment, engineer recognized of uh, facilities, and engineer uh, territory recognized. Engineers support two vehicle convoys within the area of responsibility, countermeasure against improvised explosive device, and disposal of explosive device. Uh, and uh, standby duty uh, within Joint Quick uh, Reaction Unit. We are Ukraine and we are committed to the future of Afghanistan. When Ukraine participated in those wars with the United States, did it not think that we were forcibly interfering in independent states? Didn't you think when Ukraine participated in those wars and the innocent people in those countries died, that this is dying because of our own mistakes who spoke up for the innocent people of Afghanistan and Iraq? Ukraine today has to pay for the sins committed then. So is America. You have to pay for the sins you have committed. If the joke countries that say no one can invade an independent country have joined forces to invade Iraq and Afghanistan. Ukrainian soldiers who fight to defend the country when Russia invades Ukrainian are heroes to the world. But when the US invades Afghanistan and Iraq, those who come forward to defend their country are terrorists.